we see it all around the city, and, and they, they have that giant DNA. We're, we're, and what I mean by that is they're resilient. They're never out of it. You're never, you know, whether they're down by two, three runs, they'll come back and they'll, they'll post a crooked number in the eighth or ninth on you and come back. And the team has, they have no letdown. And that's, that's one of the things that the Giants teams, you know, in 2012 when we won the World Series and in 2014 when we won the World Series again, we had those, the ones that I was a part of, you had that, that, that will to just continue pushing forward and never give up. And that's what this team can do. They can beat you with timely hitting. They can beat you with good defense. Their starting pitching has been fantastic. The bullpen has done a great job. Mm-hmm. They're a very complete team right now. And when, when you have teams like that that are, are good in all areas and playing with confidence, that's when you have something dangerous. So it's great It's great to see that they're finally starting to get that national attention that they deserve uh, being, you know, 30 games over 500. I think <laughs> right. it took a little while for people to start giving them the respect they deserve. But in my opinion, that was almost a blessing in disguise, yep. disguise for them because there was no pressure. They're like, up there being the best team in baseball with the best record by three, four games. And the national media is still kind of being like, is this going to last? You know, the Dodgers are still lurking, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think now it's, you know, they're starting to get the uh, the attention they deserve. And up until, to this point, they've been kind of just not having to deal with any pressure. So I think as, as the season kind of continues to roll along, as we get through August and into September, they, they can continue playing like this. We have a potential 100-win team here in San Francisco. 